listening to Radio New Vegas, your little jukebox in the Mojave wasteland. I am Mr. New Vegas, and I'm here for you. It's just about time to get you some news. Refugees at Bitter Springs are giving startling accounts of the legate known as Lanius, who is said to be Caesar's top field commander. One refugee told us the legate took over an underperforming squad of troops by beating its commander to death in full view of everyone. The legate then ordered a tenth of his own force be killed by the other nine tenths. And you thought your boss was a pain. In addition, citizens of Outer Vegas are flocking to the strip in droves amid a wave of terror caused by a band of raiders known as the Fiends. Those who can afford passports are saying the added security is well worth the price of admission. Today's headlines were brought to you by Prem. Prem, the other New Vegas. Welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time, we made contact with the Boomers. We visited a, like an art studio by one Michelangelo who I sadly could not help because I didn't have enough for the medicine check, which I will rectify as soon as I level up. In this part, you might notice I'm not back in Nellis, and there's a reason for that. You might also notice Boone's not here with me, and he's going the exact same place where Eddie is going. And that is, I'm going to be sending them back to the Lucky 38. Return to base. Reason because, well, as much as I love Boone and as much as I love Eddie, I think we've had them for a decent enough time. They've been with us ever since we, like, really, like, started our adventure, like, way early back when I was in Prim and all that stuff. And the reason I'm out here at the I-88 trading post, if I can pull up the map so you can see, because you probably don't know where it's located if this is your first time playing. It's right here, pretty much right a short distance from Ranger Station Alpha. Reason I'm here is because, well, there's a companion here that I want to get. Hey, no offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Um... Good spring. I came from the grave! Ooh. Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. Well, welcome, then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. You live in a hole in the ground? Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. So you just leave your family in a bunker? Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? Uh, sure, go ahead. I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about yeah, I'm familiar with the Brotherhood. They're usually harmless unless you use advanced technology around them. Well, that shouldn't be a problem for me. I can't afford anything like that. Hey, so where are you headed? You anyway? say you don't have advanced technology, yet I see a power fist on your arm. I don't know if that's considered advanced technology by Fallout standards, but in real life standards, that's actually kind of advanced. Um... Well, shit, I actually don't know how to answer this. We've already finished our business on the Strip. I don't really have a reason to go to Hoover Dam just yet. I already dealt with my old friend. Eh, I just kind of drift from place to place. Just wherever the wind takes you, huh? I like that. Keeps things interesting. I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together. Help each other out. You don't look like much. What do you bring into the table? Hmm. Good. That's the look I was going for. Trust me on this one, though. You'll be glad you brought me along. If I turn out to be a burden, we can part ways at any time. No hard feelings. Any idea where you're hoping to go? Oh, nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world. Looking for a fresh perspective. 
I want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the Mojave. See if there's something I can learn from. Uh, don't you have a family to feed, though? Like I said, they can handle themselves. And I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. It's a big family. Alright, I see no reason why not to travel together. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? Actually, I'm more comfortable now that you've told me uh, you've had some training. I'm great at punching people. I'm not gonna lie. It's a gift. Well, thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. I swear that's a reference to something, but I'm not quite sure. But anyways, the road, huh? we got Veronica. Hands down, one of the best companions in New Vegas. She is one of the most overpowered companions if you give her the right uh, power fist. Because her and arm damage is through the roof. Uh, basically, whenever I like do like main playthroughs in New Vegas, I usually like to team her up with Eddie. You know, have Eddie do long distance damage while she closes the distance. And you are literally a force to be reckoned with. Now, one thing I want to do before we leave the I-88 trading post, I want to talk to the arms Morning. merchant here. You a merc? Because you don't look like a prospector. Well, yeah, you kind of got me there. Uh, something like that. Are you an NCR soldier? Hell yes, sir. Well, not officially. Not anymore. They mustered me out a year ago. Administrative discharge. Administrative discharge what? It means my CO was an asshole and I told him to eat shit. He ordered me to flog a couple deserters. Those kids didn't desert. They just got liquored up on the strip and missed roll call. I don't know what else the brass expects. Half these kids don't get more than two weeks of training before they ship them out here. Shit. Alright. Well, how did you end up selling weapons? Going home didn't feel right. Not with those savages camped on the other side of the river sharpening their knives. And I still get to see my old platoon when they pass through here. Make sure the new CEO is treating them right and sneak them extra ammo. Anyway, I was always complaining about the standard issue gear. The new kids don't even get body armor. Can you believe that? MCR doesn't have the caps to outfit the troops? Vegas is bleeding us dry. We're tossing caps at a hundred different problems while Caesar bides his time and lets us wear ourselves out. This war is going to bankrupt the NCR unless we finish off the Legion fast and dirty. We shouldn't be perched up at the dam. We ought to be crossing the Colorado and sticking a boot up Caesar's ass. Ah, interesting, interesting. So what do you have for sale? Sure, no problem. Now the I-88 training post uh, has some mostly gunrunner style weapons uh, with the add-on. She has a missile launcher, which is shocking this early in the game. But I wouldn't say early, it's more like the halfway point. She has the Gunrunner's Chainsaw, which is like the only way you can get a chainsaw outside of... Uh, actually, no, there is one chainsaw you can get in like the vanilla version. But other than that, just Gunrunner variants of stuff. Also, an Assault Carbine, all that stuff. Metal Armor with reinforcements. Eh, I've never been one for a metal set, so I'm going to have to pass. Guidance system for the missile launcher, power fist, chrome tubes, sniper rifle, carbon fiber. You know what? Oh, no, wait. Sniper rifle. I was thinking hunting rifle. I'm an idiot. Uh, chainsaw alloy frame. Honestly, I don't want to waste the caps on this stuff yet because I just don't. Wait, did you have an assault carbine thing? Oops. Uh, uh, no. Okay. Just want to make extra sure. I've still got guns and ammo. Uh, you do a lot of business with the prospectors? Sure do. Lots of folk been coming out east, sorting through junk, looking for whatever they can sell. Times are tough back home. Too many people, not enough work. Unless you like shoveling Brahmin shit. Hmm, sounds like a shitty job. Alright. So, now that my business has concluded in I-88... We're going to get one last companion, and then we're going to head back to Nellis. Unfortunately, hold on. What? Welcome to the 188 Slop and Shop. Oh, it's 188. I always thought it was the I-88. 
Name's Michelle. My dad may run this store. His name's Samuel. I take the day shift and he takes nights. We came here about a month ago when Krim went to hell on account of the prison break north of there. Found a bin to call home and set up shop. Well, why'd you settle in this dump? There's more to the 188 than meets the eye. Troops move back and forth on 93 all the time, and 95 is how NCR folks come and go from Vegas. No shortage of customers, so long as Legion raids south of here don't get worse anyways. Hmm. Huh. Why is this called the 188? You do know these old roads were numbered, right? We're standing where the 95 and 93 meet, and 95 plus 93 equals 188. Ow, that hurt. Oh, what do you know about the raids? Not much. I hear some folks got killed down by Nelson. Or was it Novak? I don't know. If they come up this way, me and Dad will go someplace else. Well, I can safely say Nelson needs no worry about raids. Unless they stick to the wall. Now, believe it or not, we're going to be going back to Freeside. That's right, that's right. I know you're all probably sick of seeing Freeside. I know I am. Every time I get myself out of there, they pull me right back in. But there's a reason for that. Uh, there is a companion in Freeside I want to grab because he's, well, really easy to snag. And it's not Arcade, if that's what you're thinking. Arcade's going to take a little bit more time, especially with his, like, personal quest. It's more of a late game thing. But don't worry, we will have him accompany us on our quest. We will have him accompany... Uh, bleh, bleh, I can't talk. We will have him accompany us when we go see the Legion for the first time. Hopefully I don't piss him off any more than I already have. I hope not. I mean, I'm not outright vilified by them, but... You know, shooting their commander in the back of the head while he was walking away from me. Even though that's totally not what happened. Uh, they might have mixed feelings about me. Hopefully not. Like uh, holy shit, Veronica. <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> punched his arm right off. <gasps> punched his arms so hard, it flew back, punched him in the face, and he died. And we'll take the king this king's outfit. Free Kane's outfit, and I didn't have to get any shit with him by killing him myself. So, eh, why not? I mean, it's not like hit it's going to do him any favors now that he's dead. But speaking of the Kane's, that is where we are going to want to head back to, the Kane's House of Impersonation. Because that is where our companion is. And I know all of you are probably thinking when the hell I'm going to get Arcade. It will be soon, as soon as I get... I needed 75 speech for his uh, recruitment check. What's my speech at right now? I'll have to check as soon as the loading screen stops loading. Would you please stop loading right now? Please. It is at... Skills... Speech is... Oh, son of a bitch! I actually can go get him right now. I didn't realize I had 75 speech. This is actually being recorded way in advance from the last, like, set of recordings I did. So, that kind of gives you an idea. Which, if you want a bigger idea, the last set of recordings came out before Dark Souls 3. This one came out, is coming out like a week or two weeks after Dark Souls 3 came out. And I gotta say, I am dead loving the game. It... Probably the best Souls game I've played yet. Still don't think 1 is the best. 2, I still don't get why everyone hates 2 so much. But 3, it's solid. Especially in the music department. Oh my god, do I love the music for 3. Anyways, King Baby. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? Um... Oh, what can you... Where did you get your dog? Oh, ho, ho. I got Rex here from a salvager a few years ago. He was a little dinged up when I got him, but one of the followers fixed him right up. Is there something wrong with him? He's been acting peculiar for some time now. I took him to the followers and had him checked out, and they said his brain is bad or something. Is he going to be okay? For now, but they said eventually he's going to get worse. I don't know what to do. Uh, is there anything they can do? No. They said they don't have the tools to help him. 
Any way I can help? I don't know. Maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. Maybe you have better luck than I did. All right. Well, ain't nothing but a hound dog. Speaking of hound dogs. Come on, Rex. Oh. I have to go talk to Julie first. I completely forgot about that because I'm dumb. Julie, I'm coming to see you again. It's not like it's been the fifth time since I've seen you in this adventure. I'm getting real sick of seeing Mormon Ford. Bugging the lucky 38. That information would be invaluable to our research if you can get it done. Yeah, yeah, I'll get to that sooner or later. Uh, the king said you'd tell me more about his robotic dog. Rex? It breaks my heart every time I see him. He's such a good dog. The king brought him here for treatment then? Yes, a few months ago. We had to tell him there was nothing we could do. So you can't heal him? No. Rex's condition is way beyond anything we can handle. He requires brain surgery and some sophisticated cybernetics work, too. So there's no chance he'll get better? I didn't say that. While no one here has that kind of expertise, I do know of one man who might fit the bill. There's an old scientist named Dr. Henry who reportedly specializes in this sort of procedure. He'd probably be your best bet. Last I heard, he was living up in Jacobstown, far to the northwest. All right, thank you. You've been very helpful. No problem. Back to the king, baby. I don't know. King, baby, I know what'll solve your ails. Things have been a lot better. Julie Fox said the man in Jacob's town can treat Rex. She said, what? Why didn't she just say so when I was there? Actually, come to think of it, I was pretty angry when I went down there. I vaguely recall something about upending a few tables, maybe knocking out one of her doctors. Anyway, that's incredible news. Only thing is, there's too much going on around here for me to make a trip like that. And I need all of my guys just to keep things settled here. You seem to be awfully interested in my boy Rex here. And you've done some good work for me already. I'll tell you what. You promised to get Rexy here to that doctor, and I'll lend him to you. What do you say? Yeah, it's kind of true about you needing more boys here to take care of free sites since I saw one get, like, shanked while walking right into town. Absolutely, I'll get him better. I can't thank you enough. Now, there's a few things you should know about old Rex here if you're going to be traveling together. First... He hates rats. Can't stand the things. Giant rats, mole rats, doesn't matter. He catches a whiff of one, and he's off like a shot after him. He's normally pretty obedient, but you might have to chase him some if he goes after one of the little varmints. Second, he doesn't like hats or the people wearing them. Don't ask. I have no idea why. Maybe because it rhymes with rats. That should be it, though. Other than the occasional bad spot when his brain starts hurting him, that is. But I'm hoping you will see to that. I wish you both luck. Take care of my Rex now, you hear? Uh, Rex, do helmets and hoods count as hats? Protect him as you would me. And Rex is giving you the search and mark perk. What's up? Rexy boy! Easy there, down boy. We're on the same side, settle down. Good boy. Good boy, Goddard. Oh, God. That, that might feel old just referencing freaking Jimmy Neutron of all things. Does anyone even remember that show? Or, hell, even the movie? I mean, there was also, like, that, that spin-off show that nobody talks about because everyone and their grandmother hates it. But does anyone even remember, like, the old Jimmy Neutron TV show? Yeah, yeah, things are tense on the strip right now. I get it. All right, so to deal with Rex, we've got a long trip. Also, ant misbehaving is not the quest I need to get right now. Also, might want to remove that marker. We need to make a long trek. And by that, I mean we need to follow the road right up here because Jacobstown is right up in that what looks like a crater, but it's actually just a set of mountains.
And Jacobstown is actually probably my favorite part in, like, the Mojave area of New Vegas for one specific reason. If anyone who's been there probably knows the reason. Apparently, if it can be bought, it can be found at Micken Rouse. I didn't know that. It's not like that kid hasn't been telling me every time I go through that gate. Kind of wish that there was a certain mod I could get on this console game that would allow me to never have to hear those words ever again. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Eh, whatever. We're out of Freeside. We are not coming back! For a while, because I still gotta finish up the Garrett's quest. I almost completely forgot about it, especially since I've been on the strip multiple times. And also, there is the deal with Arcade and the deal with the Kings and Rex and many other things I have to do in Freeside. God, I hate being in Freeside so much. But we're at Freeside's North Gate. This area is kind of a waste of potential. There isn't really a whole lot to do here. There is actually a unique weapon nearby, but I'm not going to get it right now because it's kind of out of the way. I'm going to need to look at a map to see where it is. And also the fact that... I'm just kind of lazy to go get it right now. Actually, I'm wrong. There are two unique weapons over here, but I think I need like full 100 speech or 80 speech or whatever it is to get the unique weapon I'm thinking of. Hell, it might not even be in this area. I might be just going mad. There is a unique weapon I can actually get right now, which is actually on the pathway we're going to be taking to get to Jacobstown. It's a little out of the way, but not too far, so we'll be able to deal with it. Uh, what should I get? Plasma rifle? Yeah, we'll get the plasma rifle. We haven't used it in a whole lot. Dum -de dum I will say the, like, the, fuck, what am I trying to say? The, like, negative side of doing, like, a Fallout OP is, like, the endless hours of just walking places. Not like Fallout 4, where you can fly places, which, to be honest, I understand what they were trying to do with that concept, but it was kind of useless to do because... A, fast travel. B, you can only, like, use the vertebrates in that game to, like, go to fast travel locations. And C, it doesn't really help you in combat whatsoever, even though it has freaking guns on it. And when it does help you in combat, it kind of sucks. I mean, I've never actually seen them actually hit anyone while playing that game. I'm actually kind of excited for the Far Harbor DLC. I'm... Interested to see what they're going to do with it. It's going to be like a very, like, Lovecraftian kind of thing. I swear they're probably going to do, like, a Stephen King style of storytelling if it's going to be taking place up in Maine. And I wonder if it's actually going to be, like... I hope it's dealing with, like, how the DLC in New Vegas is. Because it has some of my favorite DLCs in the Fallout, like... What would I really call it? The series. Because not only do the DLCs count as their own stories, but you also get a sense of, like, this big, like, over-looming story that goes on in the background that you find yourself a part of. I really like it! It gives the game more character, shows that there's uh, bigger things going on, and wow, that was really bad draw distance. Alright, so we're going to want to head over here. Jacobstown is right up in those mountains, but we're not going to go over there just yet. And come to think of it, I believe that one of the locations on the way to Jacob's Town gives us... The Veronica, what the hell are you doing all the way back here? Oh, God, no! No, not Cazadors! No, why did it have to be Cazadors? Veronica, thank you for punching it. Oh, God, it's still alive. I think I'm poisoned by those things. I hate Cazadors so much. Everyone remembers that from Part 2, how much I hate these little th bastards. Oh, thank God. Please tell me I have some anti-venom on me. Four things are anti-venom. Thank God. I forgot that this was actually a Cazador heavy area. Not as bad as a certain location that has a certain Cazador that I'm going to have to deal with sometime in the future. But I completely forgot. Those things really take you by surprise so much. And I hate them. Mostly accumulated to their poison because... If not, the Cazador is constantly swarming me all over the place. Because, to be honest, they're kind of easy to kill. 
But it's not the, like, them, like, grouping up and gaining you is what will kill you. It's the poison they put into you that makes them almost as painful to fight as Death Claws. Hell, I think they're actually worse to fight than Death Claws. Because at least with Death Claws, it's over before you know it. Cazadors lure you, lure you into a false sense of security of, hey, I finally killed these guys. All right, let's go, my way. Ugh. And you're pretty much dead from poison because you forgot you took to take antivenom, and if you're out of antivenom, you're kind of screwed. So our location, 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 location should be right around this ridge line. Hmm. I discovered a new place. I really wish the binoculars would be better in this game because, to be honest, it doesn't really look like it zooms in far enough. I actually thought that was what I was supposed to be looking for right up there. I think I might have might have made the turn too early, or maybe too late. Wait, what was that? That was just a bush. I thought it was like a dead animal over there for a second. I was like, what the hell? It kind of looked like one of the Legion's dogs. I was like, no, it's too early to see you guys here. You... The Legion never comes this far to this side of the Mojave. You know what someone in the comments is probably saying? Yeah, I probably walked right past it, and I'm an idiot for doing so, and it's actually in this specific location. And I did walk past it, so we're going to have to come back here later. I mean, we got a fast travel location that's right nearby where the unique weapon is, so we'll just have to get it when we come back. Wow, that thing was all the way over there. I didn't realize how much I traveled. I do know that we can probably pick up the unique weapon that's in the location here, even though I have to deal with freaking lake lurks. Although they're not as bad as Cazador's, what? Game, I hate you so much for making me bite my own words. So much for saying that the Legion doesn't come out this far into the Mojave. Ow. Come on, don't jam up on me, game. Yeah, I'm the best marksman ever. Alright, you know what? Screw this. Plasma rifle. Oh, <laughs> sheesh, Veronica. You might be more comedically timing with your attacks than Boone is. I also probably should get these goggles clean because I cannot hit a thing. Like and Veronica just went out cold. Nice. Where the hell is Rex? Did he... The AI in this game is just masterful. Well, gee, Caesar, maybe if you didn't send your assassins to come kill you, I mean, I only did just shoot your friend in the back of, the, of his head, and I am completely sorry for that. But, you know, you probably wouldn't hate me so much because I was actually going to try and get on your good side until, you know, I inevitably betrayed you. And maybe I should have waited before doing that, but I kind of wanted to get it out of the way to get Boone's, like, reputation up a bit. Eh, maybe there's a way I can fix it. I don't know. I could probably disguise myself and get it far... I, well, I wouldn't say far into the Legion, but a decent um, decent way in. Super Sledge? Holy shit. I didn't realize they were carrying such high-level weapons already. Hmm. 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 Oh, -ho! there it is. Or is it? Yeah, it is. All right. That's good. I was a little scared. I was like, wait, this doesn't lead to the location I think it's leading to. But no, this is actually the right path to Jacobstown. I'm probably going to call it quits as soon as I get to Jacobstown just because, well, there's not really a whole lot left to do. And plus, we hit like half an hour in the video. And even though I do usually upload one part a week, two weeks at the very least. I kind of want to start getting back into doing two videos a week, but just with, like, the over-accumulative of things going on, 
And also, like, the alternates and extras I have to do for some missions kind of bogs things down a bit. Especially also real life stuff and also... And the fact I want to kind of get back into doing some streaming. I've been streaming a bit. Like, I've been doing, like, Fallout... Or not Fallout, the uh, Long Dark, which... Honestly, I, more people need to play because it's actually a really decent survival game. I can't wait for the story mode to come out. Hopefully, probably, I think it's going to come out in May because they're really doing a lot of, like, updates and patches to the game. But, eh, what can you do? Now, where is that location I'm thinking of? Is it up here? The big corners here, even though they look like they're threats on the little radar down there, they're really passive. You just got to get right up to them if you want them to start attacking you. And, of course, they're, like, really easy to kill, so there's no reason to fight them. But right now... I hope I'm not eating my own words, because this is starting to get a little bit ridiculous on where the fact that this location is. And this is the first time I've seen in a Fallout genre. Trees that are actually trees and not like rusted out, burned out trees of, of nuclear apocalypse. Is that the location? No, it is not. Silver Peak Mine is not a place I want to go right now. And you might be wondering, oh hey TBG, why not go in there? What could be so bad in Silver Peak? I've never played the game, but it can't be that bad. It's not like there's death claws in it. Wrong. There is something worse in it. There are Cazadors in it. It's crawling with Cazadors. And there's also the legendary Cazador, one of the very few legendary creatures in this game. I will be hunting those legendary creatures, like, later in the game when I have, like, a dead mantis randomly dying thanks to Rex. Thank you for doing that. But also the fact... Oh, damn it! Damn it, Rex, now I lost track of what I was talking about. Legendary creatures, that's right. I will be hunting them all. But not until I get a decent assortment of arsenals that will allow me to do so. Fat Man's optional. But... Am I seriously not able to find the damn mine? Did I go past it? I probably went past it because Silver Peak... I think I might have been all the way back here and I walked right past it. So we're going to have to push it back to a later date. Okay, who, what do you fight now? Rex, did you go after another mantis? No! Veronica, you saved my ass from another mantis. Yes, yes, you're very good at punching names, Veronica. Thank you very much. I had that mantis in my sights, and then you stole the kill from me. You're like Boon 2.0. But, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally made it to Jacob's Town. Well, relatively short. And behold, for the first time ever since Fallout Tactics, snow in a Fallout game. There needs to be more of this. I keep swearing that they're going to put it like a snowy area in Fallout 4 because with all the winter themed clothing that they have in the game, it really like it's giving me a tell. But seriously, there needs to be more snow in the Fallout series. Because look at this. This is beautiful. And also, for all you big fans of Fallout 2, Welcome to say hello to Marcus. He made a return. Walk around. Just don't stare at the nightcap. They don't like people looking at them. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. Uh, will do. I'm looking for Dr. Henry. Doc's inside the lodge. All right. Uh, wait, why did the super mutants here dislike the NCR? A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. Uh, what do you know about the Legion? Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. Alright. Well, what makes the NCR too ambitious? 
They expand. Fast. If you got land they want, they'll take it. Eventually. Did it out west? They'll do it here. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. I'd like to see them expand upon this more. Obsidian, if you're listening to this, I want to see Good New Vegas dealing with, like, the problems the NCR is, like, giving, like, people. I kind of want to see them, like, expand more. They keep referencing the NCR stuff in, like, Fallout 4 and all that stuff. I want to see more of the NCR, damn it. Alright, well, we'll talk about other stuff later. Because for now, I think we're going to end it off. It's getting late, and, you know, we've made it to the wintry wonderland that is Jacobstown. I think it's a good place to end things off. So, next time on Fallout New Vegas, we're going to head off into the lodge, see if we can fix Rex's brain, and maybe, just maybe, do some help around Jacobstown before we head back to Nellis. See you guys next time. Later. Later.